for being here. Uh, it's an incredibly exciting day. We've got a ton going on in the building. Uh, some you see, some you don't, but I think that's par for the course, and that's why we're here, actually. So um, that's what makes this venue special. So very, very excited uh, for this announcement. We've got some wonderful guests that we're going to hear from, uh, but we're going to start with a quick video, if we can get that teed up. So we, we couldn't think of a more who's your way uh, to, to sort of unveil that than, uh, than that. So really excited, obviously. And now I want to bring up our Lieutenant Governor, Suzanne Crouch, for some remarks. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> Isn't it wonderful to be here? All right, yeah, it's really exciting. And our student musicians, what a wonderful job you all did. Thank you. Do you know, as Lieutenant Governor, I oversee tourism and destination development. And I know what and how important a world-class events are to our city and to our state. And when you think of Indiana, you think of basketball, right? But like Gainbridge Fieldhouse, Indiana is so much more than just basketball. Andre Pacelli is making his first visit to Indiana, and he is going to see firsthand how we have become a destination not just for sports, not just for conventions, not just for business, but for arts and culture. And we want him to come back many, many more times. So we are going to roll out the red carpet for Andre. And thanks to the incredible Indianapolis Symphony Orchestra, the fact that we have a world-class symphony orchestra here makes it possible to attract this type of performer. And James Johnson, who has led the symphony orchestra since 2018, is doing just an incredible job. And we thank him for that. And thank you to Pacer Sports and Entertainment who operate the Gamebridge Fieldhouse for making every performance in this venue the kind of unforgettable experience that makes the decision to come back here an easy one for generational artists like Andre Bocelli. So thank you. I tell you, we are really uh, very incredibly fortunate as a state to have a lieutenant governor with that kind of energy. So thank you. Thanks for being here, lieutenant governor. It's wonderful. Um, next, I want to bring up our deputy, uh, the city of Indianapolis deputy mayor of neighborhood engagement, Judith Thomas. Thank you so much, Danny. I appreciate uh, being here. This is a wonderful. Oh, I'm short. <laughs> No, thank you so much, and good morning. So thank you all for being here for today's very exciting announcement. The city of Indianapolis is honored to welcome world-renowned tenor Andrea Bocelli this December. One of the most recognizable and respected performers in the world will play, our play with our very own Indianapolis Symphony Orchestra. What a wonderful way to bring in the holiday season here in our city. Gathered as we are in Gainbridge Fieldhouse, city residents will recall that Hoosiers have played host to some of the most significant sporting events in America before and after the start of the pandemic. That includes the entirety of the 2021 Men's College Basketball Championship NCAA Tournament, as well as the 2022 College Football Championship, and not to mention two Indianapolis 500s and the regular matchups for, of course, our Pacers and our Colts. But with today's announcement, people all over the world will be put on notice. As much as we love them, there's more than sports in Indiana. And Indy alone is, a, is home to a wide variety of cultural offerings. Many of you have attended some of our great events here. And Bocelli's appearance this winter will serve as a significant contribution to our city's diverse musical landscape. And it is a diverse one. 
from Indie Jazz Fest to Trees, and to last week's Next Up Showcase as part of Indie Keeps Creating program with our partners at Gang Gang and the Indie Arts Council, which by the way featured nine local incredible artists. Also, to this upcoming summer's event, Wonder Road Music Festival at Garfield Park. This is a city with a deep, historic, and abiding love for all kinds of music. And now, Indianapolis music lovers will soon be able to experience firsthand one of the most distinguished voices in, on our earth and in our world at a world-class venue, Gainbridge Fieldhouse. The city is grateful to the Lieutenant Governor Crouch and the state of Indiana James Johnson and the Indianapolis Symphony Orchestra, and of course, Pacer Sports Entertainment for making today's announcement possible. Thank you so much, and this is very exciting. Thank you, Judith. And, and again, you, you just can't make something like this happen without incredible partnership with the city. So thank you. Thank you to the mayor. Thanks to the entire administration. You also can't make this happen without a world-class symphony orchestra. So I want to bring up James Johnson, CEO of the Indianapolis Symphony Orchestra. Thank you, Danny. Good morning, everyone. And thank you, Deputy Mayor Thomas and Lieutenant Governor Crouch. Uh, thank you to our friends at Pacers Sports and Entertainment for hosting today's exciting announcement in this incredible facility. As you entered this morning, uh, you heard music performed by members of the Metropolitan Youth Orchestra, and I want to single them out. It's important that we know their names. Christian Cazares, Hannah Clark, Christopher Feggi, Christian Bottoms, and Helen Tackett. Would you please give them a warm round of applause? I also want to thank Crystal Ford, uh, the director of MYO, for her assistance in arranging today's performance. Uh, she does a great job as the MYO's leader. Today, of course, I'm thrilled to announce Andrea Bocelli in concert with the Indianapolis Symphony Orchestra on Wednesday, December 7th at Gainbridge Fieldhouse. This is an amazing opportunity to hear world-renowned tenor Andrea Bocelli and the ISO perform together live. This concert is distinguished by Andre Bocelli's first Indiana appearance, as well as the ISO's debut performance with one of the most acclaimed artists in the world. I know I speak for thousands of Hoosiers who will enjoy this concert in expressing thanks to Mr. Bocelli and his production team, the dedicated team behind Pacers Sports and Entertainment and Gainbridge Fieldhouse for bringing this concert to central Indiana. Tickets go on sale to the general public at 10 a.m. on Tuesday, April 11th through the Gainbridge Fieldhouse box office. We could not be more excited to have the talented musicians of the ISO perform alongside Mr. Bocelli. The ISO takes our role as a community uh, anchor very seriously. Opportunities like this uh, special event, along with more than 40 weeks of classical and pops programming, th programming throughout the year, are an essential part of what we do. In addition to offering Central Indiana unparalleled symphonic music experiences across a variety of genres, the ISO offers life-changing educational programs. We strive to contribute to the city of Indianapolis and beyond as an invested and involved community partner, supporter, and resource. Our educational programs, like the Metropolitan Youth Orchestra, discovery concerts, and side-by-side -side concerts, are designed to educate and inspire by creating space for personal growth and discovery through musical expression. The Metropolitan Youth Orchestra, whose members you heard moments ago, is a youth and family development program of the Indianapolis Symphony Orchestra, and is a perfect example of the ISO's community impact. For over 20 years, the MYO program has helped students develop life skills through the rehearsal and performance of music. Through MYO, they find a safe and loving environment to overcome fears, develop healthy relationships, fulfill their potential, and take the life skills learned through music to become successful adults. Supporting educational programs like the MYO is vital to the long-term well-being of our community, as well as uh, sustaining the performing arts by teaching the value of music 
uh, to a vibrant arts community. I'm pleased to announce that we will be offering patrons the opportunity to support the ISO's educational initiatives through the Andrea Bocelli VIP experience. This includes a premium seat and exclusive benefits at the concert. Proceeds will support the ISO's community engagement and education programs. We'll have details posted on our website at the indianapolissymphony.org about how you can participate. You're encouraged to register early. We know that tickets will be in great demand for this performance. Now I'd like to expand, extend the ISO's gratitude to our next speaker, the CEO of Pacers Sports and Entertainment, Rick Fusen. Rick. Um, you know, it's amazing to be here. Uh, we've been in this spot uh, over the last 23 years to announce a lot of things. Uh, we were just in the back room uh, starting to work uh, with the NBA um, about the 24 2024 All-Star Game, which was moved from 2021. We announced that right here. Uh, we've announced players right here. Uh, we've announced so many different things. But uh, in, in my mind, um, at this time in our lives, I don't think uh, we've ever announced anything as important uh, as what we're announcing today, which is uh, as culturally important as maybe anything we've done for many, many years in this city. I, I'm grateful to the Lieutenant Governor for her leadership. Uh, in terms of making uh, Indiana and Indianapolis a uh, global destination. Uh, we're very grateful for your administration's uh, help in, in making sure that the world knows about us. Um, Judy Thomas, longtime uh, friend in Indianapolis and deputy mayor and takes care of our neighborhoods. Uh, you and the mayor are doing a tremendous job in terms of making sure that Indianapolis is known not only for its sports, but it's for its cultural integrity. Uh, and we're grateful. Uh, the ISO, um, you know, we shouldn't take for granted uh, about uh, groups like the Indianapolis Symphony Orchestra. There are cities in our country, and in fact in the world, that are bigger than us, that do not have uh, the caliber uh, of, of symphony that uh, you lead, James, and we're very grateful for that. Young people, I have uh, two youngsters, a 14 and 15 year old at home, one who tries to play the violin, the other who tries to play the bass. Um, thank gosh that you all have mastered it much better than they. So I thank you. Uh, I, you know, I thank you very, very much for that. You know, I, I um, we, we just finished uh, 49 basketball games in 34 days uh, in this building, uh, and it's a credit to all the folks at Pacers Sports Entertainment who, who who do these things every day. We had the Eagles, and tomorrow we'll have Elton John. Uh, my first concert was when I was 10, uh, and it was the Beatles. I got to see them in Indianapolis. Uh, we thought we were a cultural big time deal then. But today, uh, to be able to be part of the announcement for Mr. Bocelli coming here uh, to Gainbridge, coming here for the first time to, in Indiana is just remarkable. You know, he, he, his voice has been characterized as perhaps the most beautiful. Uh, I, I listened to the prayer with he and uh, Celine Dion this morning and I can't get it out of my head because we need that prayer. Uh, maybe through music, maybe through this kind of concert, maybe through his, his beautiful voice, maybe our world will be a better place. So thank you all to everyone uh, being part of this, and we look forward uh, to December 7th. So thank you very much. Appreciate it. So that concludes the program. Uh, what we will do is have... Um, we'll move this podium and we'll move this in and we can get a photo. I know there's some photographers and we can get a photo in front of the logos. Uh, and then it, our, our speakers um, may stick around for interviews for one-on-ones or for, um, or for question, additional questions after the program ends. And we'd love to continue hearing from, uh, from our special guests who are playing the, the wonderful music that we've heard. Thank you all for coming. and We appreciate it. We're excited. And we look forward to uh, welcoming uh, uh, Andrea Bocelli live with the Indianapolis Symphony Orchestra. Thank you.